This is us at Loch Anelan. And there's the, the island in the loch. The wee castle in it. This is Kirsty, and this is Brody, <laughs> and this is Diane waving like the. This is still Loch Anelan, and here's Brody rushing to see us in case he gets left behind. Kirsty's got more sense. Do you hear the wind? It's just lovely. This is lovely. <laughs> the dogs are absolutely loving this. <laughs> this is the bottom of Loch Anelan. It's just beautiful, it's just the right temperature. I see the tea. Kirsty's just jumped up on Diane with muddy paws. <laughs> Brody thinks he's just in heaven. He's gone through all the heather. Kirsty's been very gentle. Aren't you, Kirsty? Kirsty! Kirsty! We're still on Loch and Ellen. And more than halfway around now. Now there's another dead tree, look. I wonder what the disease This is the foot of Loch Anelan. You can see the castle on the island. It seems to be looking out to Loch Snizzard from where we are staying on Loch Gresharnish or however it's pronounced. It looks dull, but it's actually beautiful. It's very mild and a lovely breeze. And a wind farm in the distance. Christy, no, don't go on that, mucky dog. We'll come back for reinforcements in a minute. This is as on Oig Pier. Quite a grey day, but it's slowly brightening up. And we're hoping to sail out to Harris on a non-landing cruise. Some beautiful houses in Wick and on Sky in general. Lots of cars and mobile homes waiting to go out to the island. They'll be landing, but we won't. There are houses up there on the cliff. It's hard to imagine in the winter end they wanting to sleep in that. Here. We're waiting for the boat to Harris. It's very atmospheric, I think. This is the MV Hebrides coming in to Uwek. The boat is back out to Harris. This one's for you, Barbara. Coming in, the um, MV Hebrides, Caledonian McBrain, coming into Uwek. Registered in Glasgow. Harris. 
approaching Target in Paris. Must be looking up beyond to Lewis. There's land up there, I don't know what that island is at all. No doubt we'll find out. I believe that these are called the Shants, these islands. S-H-I-A-N-T-S. But it's Lewis in Paris. See quite a wild, wild place. Not much growing in these hills. Looks like sailing along the coast of Lewis, presumably. Down towards Tarbert in Paris. Very bare, bare hills. It's absolutely wonderful. Settlement over there. Like the Queen, I'm on my annual cruise. Harbert and Harris. This is us looking out from the rear of the boat. It really is a rocky outcrop. It's the only way to describe it. You wonder how people made a living here. This is Tarbert and Harris. So 
is near where our caravan site is. There's a caravan site over there. On the edge of this loch. The weather's dulled over again, but it's still very pleasant. Oops. Lots and lots of houses here. This is a view of Uig from up on the hill. And there's the pier we left from yesterday. We've just seen a boat leave. And it's way out in the horizon now. We'll get it over. I'll zoom in on it. You can see how these rocks give good shelter. Thriving wee place. We are north of Uig on the Trotanish Peninsula. If you look quite carefully, you can even see the hills of Lewis over there. It's lovely. A wee while ago, we saw the boat come in either from Loch Maddy or from Tarbert and Harris. Oh, baby's crib. Seen before is the lining inside the thatch. I don't know if that was uniformly done or not. Getting a photo taken by a lady too. This is the old craft house in the museum. The old man and the fire. And the old lady with her knitting. And the bed. It's this wedding dress and hat were made entirely by hand by a local lady, Catherine MacDonald, for her wedding in 1924. Two lovely Westies at the Museum of Sky Life, near where Flora MacDonald it. Wonderful. It's a magnificent wild location. This is the memorial to Flora MacDonald, preserver of Prince Charles Edward Stuart. Her name will be mentioned in history, and if courage and fidelity be virtues, mentioned with honour. Beautiful location. Flora Pando family. And returned after the War of Independence. She died in Kingsborough. What I didn't know was that Flora MacDonald had been born at Milton in South Hughes. She wasn't 